and we have only one column and if you see the column is something very different you can see it is isolated footing okay or uh, you can say press them up on a this section and if you remember we have already used a very simple formula uh, in the very uh, first or maybe second session okay so for the column i'm gonna say column foundation and then uh, just the column okay and then the columns here okay so we have three things over here foundation is one column is or one by itself the cape is just one and in the columns foundation if you see this is isolated footing so we will do it a little bit uh, later however look at the column the section is just one by one feet okay it means the area that is just one by one okay column however we'll take actually the height and let's see uh, uh, if the height is just 11 feet or something more okay so i'm going to confirm it from here make sure it is known in the uh, drawings okay so it is 10 feet and 6 inches because 6 inches may be the cape okay so 10.5 now the the cape let's see let's see this is the cape you can see it over here okay and it is uh, 1 feet and 6 inches of course 6 inches is thickness okay thickness is just 6 inches or 0.5 and 1 feet and 6 inches so it means 1.5 is the length okay it is just square so the sides can be the same very simple we can just apply the same formula but before uh let's just apply it does not matter okay 10.5 for the column and for the cape 1.125 however the uh columns foundation that is something very tricky you can see okay and if you remember there is a nice plug and chicken formula for that for first dump up uh, pyramide and uh, excel i'm gonna take a screenshot so we can see it okay all right let me just take a screenshot so i can import it over here and then you guys can understand it very clearly okay now okay here's the screenshot this is in isolated footing and in isolated footing uh, if i can decrease the size you can see it okay now we're here the length, width, and height, I'm going to ignore all those things. However, we will just uh, apply a simple formula over here, okay? So let me just merge and center. Now, the thing is actually to, uh, let's take equal, and then uh, the depth of the you know, footing, you can say, which is 1 feet and 6 inches, you can see that it is 1.5, okay? However, it's good to start it with the bracket, 1.5. And then uh, we will multiply this with the top area, which is one by one. Okay, so one by one is just one. However, if there is different, you have to multiply that. Like uh, that is one by one, so it means one by one. If that is two by two, it means two by two, or just four uh, square feet. Okay, very simple. And we will add actually the bottoms area, which is three by three. You can see it. Okay, three by three. That is just the dimension. No three. So three by three. That is just nine. And again, we will add it and we will apply a square roots formula because we have square root uh, top area and then bottom area. So top area is just one. Multiply it with the bottom area, which is nine. Okay, and close the bracket. However, uh, if you see, uh, we might have a bracket over here. Okay, it start because this is Excel. And then we will actually, let's close it over here, okay? like this and even we will just divide this by three because the formula is like uh, d by three uh, into a one plus a two uh, plus square root a one and a two okay press enter okay let's uh, they will rearrange because this is uh, uh, there we have actually the multiplication so multiplication sign must be provided over there okay so the volume of this prism uh, uh, pyramid portion, uh, sorry, uh, yes, prism of pyramid portion, that is 6.5, okay? So it means the quantity is going to be the same thing as 6.5. It must be in CFT because this is concrete, okay? And of course, shift free for the others. So I'm gonna remove the screenshot now. We are done with the column. Now, I think we should uh, move to the slab, okay? because there is slab and then we have staircase 